Second. Thank you. Um, take a roll call. Um, Tim Bonfati. Yes. Tim Knight. Yes. Anna Mayo Shadebrook. Yes. All right. Sorry. I'm trying to be official. All right. Um, Gina, did you want to give us an update, please, on your Monday working group? Yeah. So um, when we talked about the forum, um, Mike Quinlan emphasized the fact that it is a school committee forum. And the content, because we did talk about the content of the forum, and basically it's really just about grade configuration. So I thought that um, Mike Quinlan's email kind of summed it up, but I guess he just wants for you guys, the school committee, um, he feels that the public needs to hear from the school committee as to why you feel that this, um, the, the three through five, whatever grade configuration you are most in favor of it and then explain why it is. So that was, that's basically it. And Arrow Street said that if there's any um, material that you guys need to help support your presentation, they're more than willing to present that to you. So if you wanna talk about like sort of what you guys are gonna go through and then I can um, make some notes and we can get the material from Arrow Street and we can start putting this stuff together. Okay, okay. Um, should we just, should we jump right to the public forum and then circle back to our timeline to get us to that point? Um, you know, we'll wait for Tracy to come in. Would that be a good idea? Yeah. yeah. yeah okay, cool. Do you want to bring that up, Tim, your, your notes? You want to share your screen? Uh, yeah, sure. For... Um, okay, yeah, Owen, so you, uh, if you're still there, I guess it has a button to share a screen, but I don't actually have, it says host has disabled it. Or if you, if Owen can't, then anime, you can, it's this, you, you have the same thing. But. Okay, uh, so who can share only host, da, da, da. Who can start sharing with someone? Okay, so how do I, um, sorry, I'm being stupid. How do I allow, oh, I can make you a host, here we go. Change host to tonight. There we go. Perfect. So um, at, while Tim is pulling that up, so I understand Mike Quillen's point of view in terms of this is a school committee grade config discussion so that we can make our vote. Um, um, I, I suppose my, and it's not like anyone is not going to be there. However, I'm just, um, concerned about all the questions, especially related to costs. And, you know, um, Mike has a command of this project like no other, except, you know, and so, um, uh, anyways, I, but I think if we, I noticed in the milestone that you just sent me, Gina, um, some pricing is gonna come out. So hopefully, you know, if we can really push out information um, about the entire project beforehand, I I'll feel a little bit better about the public, our public forum. So do you, right. um, do you get where I'm coming at in terms of- no, I, I understand what you, you were know, saying. Owning that forum on our own is a little daunting to me in terms yeah. of- and I don't think it's gonna be you guys on your own because Arrow Street, I mean, I, you know, We'll figure out the logistics, but certainly they're there to answer questions people may have when it's, you know, it's grade configuration related, but may have more to do with architecture and things like that. Okay. And Lynn and um, will be there as well. Okay. Um, okay. But in terms of cost, we um, are going to have some estimates back today. And right. We are going to start gathering all of the um, the information on cost, project cost, construction cost, comparisons based on the different options, and we are going to review this and we will present this at the SBC meeting on the twelfth, the day before. Right. Okay. Okay. So all that information will be will yes. be helpful. All right. Yeah, Jean. I think, um, and that's what what Anime is asking. As long as you know, I think we can. Um, the content will be different than the session, whatever it was, two months ago. Yeah. Um, we need support in order to provide the right level of information, right? Yeah. And to be yeah. blunt, I think it's almost, or as a, a school committee, 
we're preparing, you know, we would have to vote a couple weeks later. And so some of the same questions that we want to be able to put out for the general public, it's because we also want that, right? You know, um, so, so, so as long as it's not a, they're saying, hey, they wanted to do this, they're doing it. You know, I don't think that's the case at all, but I, I wanna make sure there's accountability in order for us to communicate about con grade configurations, there's linkages to site selection. There's linkages to cost. There's linkages to, hey, what's the impact of traffic in point A versus B, right? We're in a lane of grade configuration, right. but grade configuration you know, might influence other things. So right, right. we need to be, you know. So I think that. when the school committee has sort of an, an outline of how you guys are going to present what you're going to talk about initially. Um, we will then bring in the material to support this and we can have a conversation about how this all goes together. So I wouldn't want you guys to feel like you're just out on your own on this. Um, so we'll, we'll, um, we'll definitely <laughs> have, you know, we'll, we'll figure that out, the logistics of how it, it, it's running, but Arrow Street's there, Lynn is there, and um, and I believe Tim Von Fadi, I know Mike Quinlan said he had a bit of a conflict, but Tim too, I'm thinking Mike Quinlan's hoping that Tim will be there to um, represent the SBC. So, um, yeah, so I feel you guys will be. Sorry, Tim Von Fadi, are you free that August 13th at 5.30 for our, for our public forum? Um, by any chance? Let me check. Because he didn't tell me about that yet. I mean, he, yeah. he may have, and I forgot about it. But he had, he said he had a work thing, but I think you guys work together. So I was, um, the Thursday, the, oh, yeah, but he, he's, yeah, I'm not, he probably has another job project. Okay. Okay. But I can, I think I can make it. Glory be hallelujah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Thank you, Tim. And so do you want to run, um, I basically, and, uh, Gina, we do have an outline. Um, I have it as, you know, just a, like you, I, I touched on that when we were doing our newsletter, but I can, I, I think it is important. Do we have the right, you know, is the goal for the session that's if you, do you see a slide? Yes. Yes. Share yeah. project update. Right. Right. I mean, I, I, overarching project update, I think, is reasonable. Hey, we, we talked about this a couple months ago. Yeah. We are here to deep dive on deep grade configuration because we, we, the school committee, need to vote in two weeks. It's really valuable to get input from the, you know, one, make sure the town's informed, and two, gather input to help us make the best decision. Mm -hmm. And um, that, you know, I haven't quite figured out. We can talk about it today. Um, I think that FAQ, it's fantastic what I what I saw that you guys have done. I, I think having things like that, you know, Q and A, we might say, hey, browse through this during the Q and A, because I'll bet it, it answers eighty percent of the questions that would be asked. Um, but that we may intermingle, seek input. So I'll, I'll pause though before, like I have a second layer on on deep grade config. But does, how does this sound for a goal? I think it's great. And I think it makes sense that you have a project update. So, you know, Arrow Street's going to pull up their last, you know, um, forum presentation, right? And we're going to see what we've already already presented. I mean, you certainly don't want it to be repetitive. But basically, still, if this is the first time for some people to, to get a view of the project, you still want to have some, you know, basic stuff, you know, repeated, you know, what's going on, but just briefly. And then um, compared to the last form, there's definitely been some, some updates. There's some things on sustainability. There was a decision made to go with lead. So those little things should just be briefly um, touched upon. Mm -hmm. And that will give basically the project update. So that what Arrow Street, we'll talk to Arrow Street and they can formulate that um, project update and Larry is um, more than happy. He said at the working group meeting, he'd be more than happy to do that little bit of presentation. So, so um, Gina, you're, you're shepherding this with Arrow Street to get the project update portion of this right done. 
Yeah, yeah, I will. So when, when are you going to have a draft of what that would look like? So we, why don't we set some dates now? So, um, I mean, we Yeah, worked. and I kind of put this like as a prep plan. Great. So like I was thinking week of next week, we have to iterate on content. Yeah, like, absolutely, absolutely. Um, so let's say midweek next week. I think it would be easier on the project. Uh, this deep dive thing is another whole thing that I want to yeah. talk more about. But yeah. on the project update, I mean, it, left field has done a million of these. Arrow Street's not, not as much in the public market, but you guys have done a ton of these. We should get something in front of us that we can, I mean, they're pretty basic, right? You go over the process, the timeline, where we are in the process, yeah. remind people of what we've done, and kind of here's the most recent iterations of what's out there now based on you know based on sort of the decision making we need to have on site <clears throat> the different options again just sort of a reminder yeah. um so you should get something to us that we can mess with yeah. on that week of the third okay like, i don't i don't think that's a real because that way tim you can comment and say but i'd like to you know as a i'd like to see more on this or i'd like to see right more. sure yeah, so I'm just out of that. So if we, Gina, if we said, let's target Tuesday next week, this is a draft, that would be great. Yeah. Right. And that's exactly what I would say. You know, hey, look, okay, those are six slides. Maybe we consolidate that down to two, right? Yeah. That covers that. But, but uh, I think that would be, that would be. And then, um, let's do it. Then, you know, when we look at these project forums, you kind of saw like, are we looking at probably 40 minutes of presentation and 40 minutes of Q&A? Or are we going to, that's part of, are we going to decide? Yeah, that's something we need to talk about. I mean, in, in Tim Bonfati, uh, I'm really looking to you in terms of effectiveness, engagement, you know, um, what's worked. Well, so this is this one's a little different because when we do, so this one, that deep dive issue is the big, is the real meat of it, in my opinion. Yeah. So um, it's it's really, I think, giving them an update part of it if we if we give them the update, I think we got to immediately go into deep dive because I think that the questions will get us dis, dis untracked if we don't do that. Because yeah, I agree. That's really where, you know, ultimately in in some ways, that's really where the meat of this forum is going to be is getting feedback on that. So I would say we do. You know, I don't know what because I'm not exactly sure what the deep dive on the gray configuration will look like. That's what we need to talk about the share project update. I can imagine taking. 20 minutes at the most. Okay. And then, and then, you know, we can go from that to the deep dive on grade configuration. And then, okay, so now here's what the grade can deep dive looks like. I see. So, yeah, we'll, so we'll get the top project update draft next week. We'll, so this deep dive on grade configuration, the educational point of view, logistics location point of view, what does that mean per se? It's just, um, I think um, How it if, I, to I, if I'm a president, hey, if I choose one versus the other, can we still both ha have it in both locations? Oh, I see. Um, hey, there may be, hey, we've done some lim some work on traffic, but this is where it is. You know, like, I, I just think that's a natural series of questions. Maybe we, we cover it. Okay, so that's around like traffic and site planning and things like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So who, so uh, that would be really an Arrow Street presentation or portion? It, you know what, I would, I think I would just leave it maybe, like I'd love to get that material, but we might be almost like the MC, right? Almost saying, hey, look, here's generally where we're at. And, but then, yeah, Gina or Lynn, can you speak a little deeper about that? Um, but, but yeah, it, it does make sense. Like it, it, it is more of an arrow street because it's not, we're not the experts on it. But yeah, grade configuration is linked. There's some linkages. It's not direct, but it's very natural. I, I still want clarity on some of these items. So I can is make. Has there been any traffic work done, Gina? I know it had to be done by models and not by any, you know, actual counts. But what, what are we going to talk about traffic? Like, has the traffic consultant opined on the traffic impacts of at either one of the sites? It's, it's just been based on, um, on um, information that the school has provided. 
Um, and there is, you know, I will get to you guys. I'm going to send, I'm going to send some background information too, because Arrow Street does have somebody who does um, this, I forget what it's called, but he did touch upon traffic. But again, it's all estimations. I mean, there's no real, you know, there's no traffic studies right now. So, but, there, but is there a traffic engineer that's going to be able to talk about? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Who, who is the traffic engineer again? Niche? Who is it? Niche. Yeah. It's Niche. Yeah. Yeah. And then, and then, so the logistics things really is going to be whether or not the buildings fit on either site, you know, or what's the rel relative awkwardness on one side or the other, and then traffic. I mean, that's the logistics part of it, really. Right. Yeah, I agree. And then strategic long-term planning is this whole notion of 10 years from now, kind of, what, if, if we see this, if we see this enrollment growth that the MSP. Yeah, I, I think I think that's another one where it's either I'm not sure whether it would be, um, Gina, something you, you would provide, or we need to go back to Jeff. But what are the en enrollment projections, right? Like, you know, th th there's been some shift. I know the enrollment projections based on the process we're in. We have to stick to what the projections were a year ago. Um, but I think having some factual information around this is what, you know, we are current state. This is what the projections are. Yeah. Um, and, and to me, that strategic plan that says 15 years from now, or, you know, if it goes down, we might be, have some positive options around closing a school over time, right? And expanding Wheelock. Yeah. If it goes up, we have good options. That's, you know, oh, that's, a, that's an advantage of a three grade, okay? Um, right. You know, right. obviously, like part of me says, the, the last thing you want is, hey, you got a big, bigger school and more capacity than you have people. That's not a good choice from our side. Right, right. right. And that has, been, that has been sort of a concern. But again, you know, they did, um, go back to the MSBA and the MSBA felt comfortable with the numbers that they had already projected. So we are working with that. But, um, but that's- I, I, think, I think to that point that Tim mentioned, it would be helpful to know in that strategic long-term planning is like, when, so their projections go out a period of time. So there's, if they come true, which are you know speculative at this point, right. it would be good to know how much of this building would be unoccupied, you know, would be underutilized when it opens and for how long based on those projections? Because that's going to be, I think the balance that the school committee is going to have to deal with is the perception of an un un underutilized building for a period, especially given where we are now in the economy yeah. and, 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 you know, so the, the context we're in, I think is, you know, what's the look of, the, you know, if this is going to be un underutilized for, and then, and then relying on how speculative these enrollments are going to be, then I think that's something you guys need to consider. But I think we need to be able to present that, you know, how, how, because, you know, don't, don't you agree? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I mean, I think it was a big point of Gus Murby's, you know, um, are you going to be hiring teachers for empty class? You know, it just, it, his thought process was, um, um, was fair in terms of what are our expectations. And um, so I think that is, a, that is a good point to address. So with the accountability to like try to get that, at one point Jeff shared enrollment numbers, um, but does that just come from, um, the, like where do they, where, where's the source? Like should it, should it be more on the administration or is it more on the Dale Street Building Committee? Well, I we have numbers from NESDEC, right? Right, right. And then where does MSBA get their numbers? They do their own, they have their own enrollment. They have their own formula, okay. Yeah. I mean, I don't, I mean, I think if you could, you know, somehow it's also got to work with Arrow Street because they've got to, take those enrollment numbers and then basically kind of translate them to kids in classes. Right. And what, what, what is the utilization of those classrooms going to look like? 
and for how long. So I could see something where, for instance, it opens up, and I don't know the numbers around all this, but you know, it opens up, but there are, in order to stay within the, the, the say, 20 kid per class, teacher class guideline or whatever it is, right. you know, th there are going to be three open classrooms. And then in year three, if the enrollments come out and let's say you use NESDAQ, just as an example, since we use, Medfield uses NESDAQ. Mm -hmm. I mean, historically, that's what we've used, not the yeah. MSBA. Yeah. So, you know, in year five, does that mean that three of those classrooms start to get occupied? Or it, I think you need to show people, I mean, you could show the two scenarios, but that's just going to confuse people, I think, because they'll, they'll be like, wait, wait a minute, you know, which one do I go with? But it seems to me you have to pick one. I mean, I, I, I could, you know, so either one and then say, this is what we see with our own enrollment. So this is what the MSBA is telling us. And, you know, when it's open, it'll have three empty classrooms and we'll fill up one of them three years from now when it's open. I, I, I think you've got to understand that because people are going to ask that question because it's directly going to relate to how comfortable they are with the last one. Right, right. And, and I think that, 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 so that's where I say, I'm guessing, Gina, we have it buried somewhere, meaning like you, you've at least talked to it. Because where my brain went when I was thinking about it, and, and it's partially covered in this FAQ, your pre-K and K numbers go up because we now have co more capacity than we previously had. So right. that, um, right. you know, th th there's just, uh, as I say, linkages. So those, goes up, those go up, but whether it's a two grade or three grade config, I think the theory would be it's the same amount of classroom space either way, I think is what they're saying. So, so because they, they, can now, they now have capacity and we can offer more seats for the pre-K and K. And then it's static on the two, whether it's a two grade or a three grade, I believe. That, that's what I want to have clarity prior to the public forum because yeah. so that way it's like we're even better prepared as a school committee to two yeah. weeks later like we exactly. can continue to iterate and say hey does this make sense and, and that's exactly right and that's why what we'll do for this is we'll get you to we'll get together the um the um the space summaries the program the space summaries and just those overall look of of um what we'll have for classrooms and and just all of that stuff i'm writing that down now tim and that's what we're and I'm going to talk to Arrow Street with them and get you all that information and you guys will have a better understanding of it and then we'll, you'll feel comfortable speaking to it. Right. Okay. And maybe if I, it's okay, I just put notes in the slide here, but maybe if we said same target, if you miss the target, that's okay. <laughs> but if we said target by Tuesday, you at least give us something. Um, Absolutely, it, because I think, because you're right, um, Tim Bunfati is right, we do have all of this information now, let's just, just compile it, you know, so um, by Tuesday, yes, yes, definitely by Tuesday, we can start putting these things together based on these headings, and then from there, we can have more of a conversation and then figure out, you know, what's the best way to sort of graphically show that, for, you know, for ease of the public. Good, good. Thank so you. who's going to MC the deep dive on grade configuration? Is that the same person as is that? So the the project update. Um, that's easy, that's easy enough. So if, if I I didn't know Mike, well, you know I'll talk to Mike. But if he wants me to do that, I can, because really I'm gonna introduce it and then turn it over to, uh, who, whatever we decides first. If it's you know probably yeah. I'm gonna turn it over to you or Lynn about the way we are in the process. Yes. Yep. And then you're going to turn it over to Larry to talk about the, the, the updates on the, yes. on the different designs. The deep dive on grade configuration. So the first item gets turned over to Jeff, right? Right. Yeah. yeah. And then the second item gets turned over to Arrow Street. And the third item is another Arrow Street issue, I think. Because yeah. they're the ones who are going to have to talk about that. Right, right. And, and, and I guess, and, and like who is going to talk about longer term, Jeff, I guess, right? Uh, the, from the town yeah, side? Like, like, that's where, um, it's a good question, Tim. Like, I, I agree. I think, you know, for the purpose of now, between Anna Mae and I, like somebody on the school committee, like that, we at least own the idea, hey, we're going to have a discussion. We have points of view from each group, you know, different people weigh in. 
But my only thing is this should be fluid. Like, it, it, you know, if I don't know, I, maybe it's aggressive to say 15 plus 30. I don't think we could cover this in 30. But it shouldn't be like, hey, this is 20 minutes and this is 20 minutes. Like, I think we're just going to, you lose the flow. It's kind of like, look, these are the major things we're trying to think about in order to make the best decision. And we kind of want to be able to at least net it out, right? And I think once we have that outline, really, yeah. you yeah. know, I think it will become more natural, but um, for us, and we can determine that next week, but it is something um, to think about. So, you're right. Yeah. yeah. I think, and for now though, I think those are the right bookends of content and, and I'm wide open to others, but it's an educational perspective site. Hey, what are the projections? What happened, you know, what happens 15 years from now? It, there might be a pro and a con, depending how, how things go. Um, and there's financials, we, we need that, right? Um, so that I think is, is uh, where, to a certain degree, I think Anna Mae, you and I were a little concerned when Mike said, hey, I can't be there. As long as we can get that proper information, we need it anyways. Yeah. You know, and we can't have it buried in like, oh, that was covered in May, project update, go to page 19. <laughs> Nothing, I'm happy it was covered, but you know, we want to kind of refresh it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But I agree with Anna Mae. I, I think once we've got this outline together, I think it's going to make more sense who's presenting what and how it will ultimately come together. And I'm going to start putting stuff together by the end of this week. You know, I know we got this okay. Friday tomorrow. But um, I'm going to start gathering these things and send it to you guys so you feel more comfortable with the material. And, um, and then finally, you know, we'll have a presentation from Aerostreet, like a draft presentation from Aerostreet, which I'll, I'll send over by Tuesday of next week. But I think it, uh, to, to Tim Bonfati's point about what, what are the people, you know, what are our, the citizens going to really want to know? You know, the occupancy utilization. I think um, Steve Reich, you know, sent that email way back when to the select board with his his questions. So I'm going back and, and writing down all the questions and I'll send those to you, Gina. And um, because I think if we've already got questions floating out there and we haven't properly addressed them, this is the time to kind of, um, to, to do that. All right. But I, but I think that FAQ sheet, and I know we'll talk about that soon, um, is gonna is gonna help hopefully frame this if we can get this out in um, right, 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 right. yeah i think we're kind of uh we may want to start get, we're gonna and, and i'm not sure anime are we trying to keep this to one i would we... like to keep it to one i think everybody's right. got fine yeah. a, a billion things we're, to do <laughs> i mean i don't know that we need to go deep you know i think this is the this is the gist of it yep hit on briefly like preparation so if the event is the 13th I believe, have we already posted the agenda? Anime, that's one you normally. For the um, for the 29th, or for tomorrow, or what do you? Yeah, what do you we need to have it posted two weeks in advance, right? Oh, for the okay. public forum, you mean? Correct. Oh, yes. So um, I do have a timeline here. So really for us to get it in the, in the paper press, we need an article for this weekend. So I will work something together to get it to um, Hometown Weekly and the press because it'll hit next Thursday. And if we waited one more week, it would be, it would hit, it would drop the day of, which would not be helpful for us. So it has to go up this weekend. And this is the invitation anime, right? This is, so. And, and the announcement, the, the broad, the broader announcement. Yes. Okay. Yeah, so that's, and that, I was just more like, so you have to have the broader announcement for call it town hall and we're simplifying oh. by tomorrow. Like yes, but then the, the actual agenda and the link, you know, that in theory gets posted 48 hours beforehand. Okay, yep, yep. So you're just saying there will be a, here there's going to be an event. So that's by tomorrow. Yes. Um, and that's, this is, these are just dates. We can kind of move around, but so we have the save the date that looked good. Um, I'm thinking by Friday, we 
pretty much have an invitation that we think is we're comfortable with. You know, we just reviewed content. I think we're okay on that. And call it a plan for an email sequence. We, we did a save the date. There's a you're invited and maybe it's a reminder. You know, maybe it's two. Um, this I, I think is Tracy would take a more active role here. Is that accurate in terms yeah. of um, execution? And then we would want to have, my opinion, I'll just say it, I think a sign-up sheet is good. It allows us to plan what, you know, is it 30 people or 130 people or 300, you know? Sign-up sheet doesn't hurt. It also so, yeah, so. It forces people, like if they sign up, they get that reminder, it gets in their calendar. So are you thinking, you know how through Zoom you can register and then you register to get the link or something or other? Or are you thinking a Google form where um, I'm planning, I'm just trying to figure out what, what method should we use? I'm more thinking, that? yeah, and Oliver, um, I get an email and say, that's the quote invitation. You know, it will be a Zoom meeting on the first to sign up, click here. Okay, so what are they clicking on to? Are they clicking on a sign of genius or are they clicking on a Google form? I'm just wondering what, what you guys think. I don't know. I mean, Google form's fine as far as I'm concerned. Okay. Whatever allows us to say we have an idea what the you know, number of people that are coming. And it, to me, it just represents people are more committed to show up if they sign up. But they're not registering for it. They're what? They're not pre-registering to attend it. I mean, they can show up that night and... For sure. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not going to lock the doors at yeah. all. I'm more just saying it's nice to offer the sign up because I yeah. think you get greater yeah, yeah. show up rate if yeah. they actually sign up. But I definitely, there will be, you know, day of or week, you know, the, the, the reminder, here's the Zoom details. We'd love to have a count. And if there's any comments or questions you have, you're free to post them. Yeah. That's my thought, and I don't. I, I'm definitely not overly concerned if you guys don't like that idea. Well, I, I don't. I think it's a good idea, just that somebody now needs to manage that list. But if you're willing to do that, I think, I think it is a good idea. Um, oh, Owen, can you hear us by any chance? Because I think there is a feature in Zoom where you can ask people to register, and because I've done it before, and it seems yeah. pretty efficient. Uh, and, and without too many, you know, then formatting a list and, you know what I mean? It's, 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 it's quite. You know, you did, didn't you, we have one at one point for the last one and then we went away. Didn't, didn't we do it? The last time? The last form we didn't have, so, I mean, it was we epic. Pulled it. We pulled it at the last, you know, we, we decided not to. But let's just, like we would, so my thought is it might be aggressive, but hey, let's Friday, let's, let's figure it out. Yeah. All right. Yeah. I think, I think we can, I think we can sign up. Okay. That's cool. Great. And then in theory, again, these are just throwing it out there, but now the email list, uh, Tracy's working on that. That's scrubbed. I think I can give her, like, I've got a bunch of contacts I used from the like youth sports and a whole yeah. bunch of folks. I think every one of us should, if you have, who's the leaders, I, I think she already has PTO yeah, leaders, et cetera. Yes. But let's get them there and then we do follow-up reminders so they get them a couple times beautiful so ideally that goes out like monday or so cool and then we got a draft from you guys and then anime we might need a meeting next week yeah content yeah absolutely um and tracy's uh, trying to get in oh, oh perfect I was hoping Tracy could sign up and help us with this Google form and this stuff. Oh, so actually, um, Tim, now that you're the host, can you um, let Tracy in? Uh, sure. Uh, what do we do? Participants allow to talk. Is that what you do? No, um, maybe. Hey, Tracy. Can you hear me? Oh, yay. We hear you. Yeah. And then what do you, uh, Anna May, you did it. Do you know what you do to Bring her, bring her up. Okay, so I've made you the host. So now uh, I think it's up to you now to bring her over as a panelist. Oh, there you go. Yay, thank you. Sorry. <laughs> Thanks, Tracy. 
So I'm going to have to get off soon because I have to get on another um, one o'clock. Not okay. not right now, but but I just I, before I go, I want. I mean, before I do have to go, if it was abrupt, are we going to try to do this again Wednesday when we have? Yes, next is is Matthews? next Wednesday at noon a good time for everyone? Or yeah. do people? This would save doing another doodle, which. <laughs> I mean that works for me, so I can I'll plug it in. Mm -hmm. Good night, Tracy. That's cool. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I'm okay. I mean, unless I get a better. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Awesome. That. <laughs> okay, subcommittee next. The but since all my invitations come from Anna Mae, I think that probably <laughs> I will be available if <laughs> she's holding the meeting. Too funny. Sorry. Uh, that's cool. All right, beautiful. So set that's set. That. So that saves us a doodle thing, Bob. So thank you. Um, so in addition to um, these timelines, so Gina, you've got that news flash, which I think is fantastic. That's being tidied up. And then we have that FAQ um she which is brilliant so yeah, why don't we cover that how do they how do you want to bring them together um i would love one of them to drop this week ideally i, I um, but we can do anything i would love for the news flash to go out either tomorrow or friday and then next monday have mm -hmm. um you know, and we could do the save the date either this week or early next week, but then have the news flash go out this week, have the FAQ sheet go out next week, have the save the date go out, you know, whenever we got decide either end of this week or next week and just start pushing stuff out. So it's on people's minds and, and it's, it's valuable information. I, you know, I think that FAQ is, is, is fantastic. And you know what, and, and the save the date's important. I think it, it's got a great graphic. Thank you, Tracy. Um, and so I think those kinds of things can again be on the minds of folks. So what if, do you want to, um, I mean, Tracy, in, in nice work on the save the date, did that already go out or is that just out like on social media right now? No, I just sent it to Anime. Okay, so what if it is like um, Thursday or Friday, save the date plus the news flash, right? Yeah. And then and that goes out through email, uh, Tracy, um, on, on the list. And then next like Tuesday is the actual invite, and maybe that. I don't know how we feel about that FAQ. I, I think it's, you know, it should be living and breathing. It'll probably evolve over time. Um, but it, anime, I, 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 I went through it. I, I didn't go through with like a fine tooth comb, but just making sure, is it accurate? You know, is there anything in there that might not be proper? I, you know, I, I didn't. Think, yeah, I think, um, Gina, I think you and Lynn were saying, I think you're waiting for Jeff and Mike Gwynlin to give it their blessing that it is correct because I think they're the ones who, who really should give that that si final seal and then we can um, launch it. Because I know the FAQ is linked to the news flash. However, that FAQ I think is worthy of sending out on its own because yeah. it, it is so important. I agree. I agree. Okay. On the email in MailChimp, you know, the way it is, you can put two or three things in. So you can easily do the news flash and then have the save the date graphic at the bottom. You know, I think typically it allows you to put in chunks. So if you want to, when we talk email in May, we're talking sending it out through the MailChimp to the 400. Yep. yep. And then you can go right over to Facebook as well. Um, and that should be pretty easy to do. Um, I'm sorry to be late, but do we know how many email people we have? Because I, I almost went door to door in my neighborhood to get people to sign up on that over the weekend <laughs> before. So did we go up from 400 to at least 408 or something? Oh, I'll have to, I'll have to ask Tom Herb. He's got all those numbers. Okay. I'll ask Tom. And can Tom give you the password so that we can get in and do our own thing? Yes. Okay. Yeah. I, 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 we need to have some ability to do our own 
work at, at yes. start. Yes. Yeah, I'll, I'll get it. <laughs> so, and, and that's the part where th this is important that we, like, I think Tom's note, I mean, do we, are we starting to, do we consolidate? Or is like, what, is Tom trying to send a note once a month? I think whatever, um, whatever left field pushes out, Tom is happy to push out or we can push out, you know? So, so I think left field has been putting those updates together. Um, but I think that's more for the in the know kind of people, so to speak. So I think this news flash is for the lay people and um, the people not in the biz and following it. So I think it's, it's very helpful that we're doing a, a layman's lay, lay person's version. Okay. Well, I think oh. you, you guys just need to give your, you know, blessing on the news flash. And um, I know we were having some trouble with the links, but um, Lynn redid some things and she can embed the links into the new um, version of the news flash. And um, you guys take a look at it and we can send that off to you. You guys can send that out whenever you feel like doing okay. that. You do it this week. Yeah, if you want, I can pull it up. Unless Gina, it's changed. I, I thought it looked great last night. I think I, I gave you one minor round. Do you want to pull it up, Tim? Yeah, I just wanted to. I just pulled up the email. Um, I think you made the you change. The, the one that Lynn just sent, and she made it look like an actual newspaper article kind oh, cool. of thing. Yeah, I don't. Um, hold on a sec. I hit the wrong button. Now, also, Tim, um, Fabi, before we, we, I know you have your one o'clock, but before we, um, before you go, um, is there any other things we should keep in mind for the public forum that you? Um, no, I, I think that the, so the project update, Gina, you need to talk with Arrow Street. They don't give a giant, because it seems to me they need to make sure they really just take 15 minutes or so to walk through yeah. that. Which, which means it's not the, Larry needs to be expeditious in his presentation of it. So, cause I think the primary purpose of this is for school committee to get feedback on this great configuration. Right, issue. absolutely. And we don't want to have the, and have the uh, update, you know, overwhelm the presentation. To me, that great configuration issue is going to be the important thing. I agree. I agree. And it could just be a couple of slides. But again, once I give, we give you guys this information, um, we can... I mean, I, I'm, you know, probably more than a couple of slides, but last time it seemed like he, he, he went for a while and then, you know, we'll start to lose people. Yeah, good point. Good so point. So that's my only... That, no, we know we should it really... It really all comes down to this... Great great guys. I agree. You know what, I'd love your opinion on this. And that is, you know how in Zoom you can do like a poll and maybe not outright ask, you know, which do you prefer, but could we ask or, or um, something like, um, uh, you know, do you feel like you have more information on grade configuration, yes or no? Or, you know, what is your number one priority when considering supporting the new Dale Street and just list our, is it, you know, educational benefits, cost, blah, 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 blah. And just kind of do, you know how you do those on Zoom and, and it could um, it could engage people and just we can get some nuggets or is does that lock us in? I don't know the, I've never done, I don't know anything about all those things on Zoom. You know, I, I don't know. I think if you, you know, I don't know whether others here like that I think do more communications, whether having a poll is a good idea when such a relatively small sample. I, and I, I think it's going to be you guys on school committee need, you know, unfortunately, this is just a tough decision yeah. that you're going to have to make based on all the factors, including feedback you get at this forum. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, can you hear me? I, yeah. my, my feeling on the poll of those questions that you asked, they've been asked and answered. I, I think unless you're bringing new information on the cost and evaluating it, it's, what did people say? They're not going to change their answer. The cost is the number one thing that they need to make sure that the extra cost, the benefits weigh what people are aligned with what people, I, I, so I don't, I think you'd get the same things. If we said cost, they'd say it's important, you know, it's so number one. If we said this, they'd say number two. It's, 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 it's not about those questions anymore. It's really about getting to now the information um, and seeing 
where everyone is and how it's all new information's coming in, right? Since the last time you guys have done some extra yep. work and got some stuff, um, you know, yep. I, I think hopefully it's going to impact the discussion differently than what we had it in the spring. Agreed. Okay, great. Yeah, and I mean, why don't we iterate? Because I, 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 I agree. Like, to me, the missing ingredient to help make a decision, you know, just more input, right? But I, I also agree with what Tim said. It's who doesn't happen to be on vacation August 13th, right? Like, it's, it doesn't necessarily represent it, but I, I just want to hear what are the types of concerns, objections, um, you know, value points we might be missing. But that, you know, it, I, and that's really difficult in that public forum to, like you take each of these topics and it could be, we open it up for a few minutes. Hey, general comments, ideas. You know, I, I, I'm not sure the best way to do it, but, or we talked earlier, a breakout, you know, 45 minutes of content. And then, hey, if you want to deep dive, each one of us could, we could go into this breakout room for 10 minutes. But I, logistics on that sometimes are hard to manage. Yeah because it is a regular school committee meeting, or, you know, perhaps the, the following day we can send out the, you know, Jeff could send out the recording, you know, uh, you know, to the schools, we can send it out through our emails. You know, this just happened last night, you know, from X to X, you can watch the grade config, any questions, comments, email us or something or other. Um, I think that would work. We see that those that really care do email us. Yeah. And it gives us a better pulse. So I, but I think something like that is like, let's, that's why I, my thought is we have a meeting next week to get the yeah. content a little, you know, flushed out. Yeah. 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 Bottom yeah. line is, I think it's more about public input than, you know, by all means, if there's questions, we want to answer them. But if the FAQ is there, you know, yeah. some of those questions we may have covered and it's like, hey, what are you, what are we missing? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. All right, so I think we have our next steps. Um, we'll take a look at that news flash and check the links and maybe we can get that news flash and the save the date out this week. That would be really awesome. Yeah. And I'll get the code so we can deal with MailChimp on our own, Tracy. And, um, and that'll and, be- And Anna Mae, we're thinking again, so save the date news flash would be one email. Well, I, I want to look at that now that she's formatted it di differently. You know, some people really just kind of focus on the top and I would hate for the save the date to get yeah, lost. Now that I saw it too, it was different than what I thought it was going to be. So, you know, so because you have to get off, guys. I'll, so I will see you all next week. Thank you, Tim. Thanks guys. Thank you. Thank you. Ciao. So my, my thought though is an email that has a quick, you know, Hey, update. We, we have, you know, we're now giving you this news flash and the focus of the news flash is to help prepare because we're running a town forum on August 13th and there's two attachments in the email. Yeah, I'm just, um, have to see how it's laid out and then we can, we can decide. I mean, would it be awful to do two different um, if we did one email this week and you know, to next week, say the news flash or the, the save well, the date plus the FAQ? I think that actually, yeah, that makes sense is if you did next week, the invitation and that has, you know, effectively, so this week is the save the date period. And then next week is the invitation that has both the FAQ and the um, invitation. Yeah. I like Tim thinking because the save the date, if you guys are good with it, you could send it tonight. You could send it in 10 minutes, you know, yeah. to Tom say, post it in the email, post it on the Facebook page and it's out there and it's done. The news flash needs a little tweaking. It takes a few more days by the time you can get that going. And then that's a good follow up to it. You know, maybe yeah. that's a better way to do it. I don't personally like anything that people have to click on within the email to get their information. Um, because that's an extra step um, and for people, half of yeah. people will not do it. So maybe they will for fre frequently asked questions. I think that will definitely get a couple of people, um, but we can send that separately too. But I think that yeah. maybe just do that. Well, however you want to do it, it's. Um, yeah. yeah, I don't, I don't know. 
Uh, Tracy, when you weren't on the phone, I was almost saying, looking for you to say, hey, it would be great. You know, Tracy can handle this like little, like we're going to want to save the date. Then we're going to want an invitation. We even may have a- handle it, But I don't have any of the tools to do it because I can't get into the email. So awesome. I, only <laughs> have three cards. It, so. I heard I'll do it. <laughs> but that's that's, that's why great. Go, that's why I had to go door to door in my neighborhood and say, uh, people. <laughs> I can't wait that. to see those numbers. How many do you have? <laughs> so um, don't, don't, uh, I'm old school, door to door works just as well in many cases. Door to door with, uh, with a pool in your backyard when it's 90 degrees. People will sign up. <laughs> exactly. Hysteric. So, Tr Tracy, I'm wondering um, that invite, if you guys, um, Gina, I didn't forward it to you, um, but. Um, it's, it's a lovely graphic, much like she did with the email thing. Um, but we don't have a link. It ju you just put down on there, Tracy, at the bottom. What did you do? Um, Are you looking at the newsflash? Um, I mean, the save the date one or which one? Yeah, the save the date one. No, I'm looking. I'm just going to look it all up. Look it up. I just said check the town website. But I think that for save the date, I think it's fine this far out because. Yeah. Okay, good. You know, people aren't going to be needing the link right now. And I think that day of, we'll definitely get the link on concerned citizens and um, you'll have it in other things, put it on the Facebook. Uh, I, I mean, I'm very grateful to Sharon that she's brave enough to post on concerned citizens with her own name. And Can you guys see that? I'm going to. Yeah, no, I was just going to do this. Yeah, that's great. It looks really snazzy. Thank you, Tracy. So we can get that out today. And Tracy, minor, um, do you, do you want to put like Dale Street School project update and grade configuration? Where do you want to put it? Like invites you to the public forum on grade yeah, configuration. Okay, that's good. Yeah, that's a good point. You know what? I was thinking that too. I thought oh, it's up in the title, but people are very literal. And so I think that it's good to put, I can add that. And okay. I'll share just so you, um, you had, uh, because that, that's, we kind of went through what the topics would be. And that's really what it is, is a, a project, kind of a project update, and then a deep dive on grade configuration. Yep. And um, who is going to talk? Are we going to talk about that next week? Who's going to talk? Yeah. On yeah. Once, so once we all right. Awesome. And then host the post pool party. <laughs> That I can do, but it has to be under 25. So I can't get a fine. I can't get a fine. I got two kids in college. So, <laughs> yes. so um, no, yeah, that, that looks good though. Yeah, if we get the um, going back there, so you get the save the date out on tomorrow or, you know, ASAP really as soon yeah. as it's ready. And then August 3rd would probably be realistic. Like Monday, you get the either the invitation, which I just use the word embedded. So it has the news flash and or FAQ, however you want to do it is, yeah, yeah. is awesome. Yeah. Um, ha, Gina, ha, has um, Jeff and Mike approved the, the FAQ sheet yet? Not yet, but well, let me check in. Okay. Um, no, that's cool. That's cool. Cause yeah. And um, and I'll look in and I'll, I'll touch base with Owen. I think I know how to do the end, but I'll make sure, um, you know, to register for a Zoom where you have to enter your email and then they, you know, I, I think it's simple enough, but I will touch base with Owen to, to figure that piece out. Okay. Um, but I think we've got a plan and we're going to meet next Wednesday at noon. Um, and, you know, anime, I was just thinking about the polling, if you can figure that out, what I think could be useful, depending upon how many people are on um, the public forum, is who's ever the facilitator of the meeting, when you're moving on to next, you can poll people to say, should we move on, or do we have more questions, you know, about what's going on in real time, as opposed to coming up with the same old questions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, we can think about that. I quite like the poll feature, but um, I, I, I know it's limiting, but it just kind of, it's an, just an engagement piece. And do we remember how many people came to the last forum? Oh my gosh, yes, um, 280? Yeah, 280. Okay, so let's just write that down. So then that 
to me. I need a number. Yeah, yeah, no, you're right. Oh, yeah, so marks. We do 280, so we got to at least do 280. <laughs> yes. And there's but that was with anime on Pine Street that we can go door to door. So there you go. <laughs> yes, because you know I think between the Zoom sign in and the television, you know Brett Parier gave me some numbers. So in total, it was roughly 280. All right. So that, so now we have like a little bit of a target, I think, as far yeah. as knowing success about getting people. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. All yeah. Right. Thank you. Thank you very much. You. I'll add that thing and send it over to you right now. The anime. Okay, beautiful. Thanks. That Tim wanted to add. Okay, bye bye. Cool. Okay. All right. Are That's we it. good? So we good to see everyone. Thank you. All right. And she